Hello everybody, my name is Alex shred -Nozlak and I'm a film critic at Filmbook. Today, I'll be reviewing the 2003 crime drama Memories of Murder. Memories of Murder was directed by Bong Joon-ho. The film was written by Bong Joon-ho as well as Shim Song-bo. The film stars Song Kang-ho, Kim Sang-young, and Kim Roy-ha. I really hope I said all those right. If not, I apologize greatly. This is a detective story based around the first serial killings in South Korea during the mid 80s. We follow two detectives in a small town as a body turns up in a field. A detective from Seoul is brought in to help the investigation. During this time, several more bodies are found in similar scenarios. This then leads to all the detectives on a manhunt to find the killer. This movie's getting a re-release from Neon. I absolutely love Parasite, so I jumped at the first sight that I was able to review this movie. I've also seen two other of Bong Joon Ho's movies in the past. One of those being Snowpiercer that I saw in theaters when it came out, and then the other Okja when it came out on Netflix. And it was actually almost exactly a year ago that I saw Parasite when it first came out in theaters in my area. So if you didn't guess this already, I'm a bit of a fanboy when it comes to his films. So is this going to be a fanboy review? Yes, because holy f this movie is good. This is the first time I've seen this film and I'm kind of kicking myself that I haven't watched it in the past. I'm a huge fan of crime dramas. It's a genre that I love dearly and one that I hope to continue making short films or even feature films with. When I watch a film of director Bong's, I can tell that he's easily a fanboy as well. By the way, for the rest of this review, I will be referring to him as director Bong. When I watched him at the Oscars, I noticed everybody in his inner circle referred to him as that, so I'm going to as well. I think it's kind of badass. I feel like he watched movies like Seven and was just like, I want to make movies like that. This movie definitely has a lot of similarities to that film. I say it's mostly the look of the film, but obviously both these movies are centered around a serial killer as well. Granted, they're not the same, so they shouldn't be treated the same, but he obviously took a lot of influence from David Fincher. At least I would think so from everything that I witnessed in this movie. He's definitely influenced by people he respects highly, but he's able to turn these stories into his own thing. And that's one of the aspects of this movie that I really loved. It's really strange because this movie shifts tones a lot. It's like a roller coaster between being kind of silly and then being really serious. It's silly because the cops in this movie are really goofy. You can tell up to this point they've really had it made with their jobs and they haven't had to do anything too difficult. As I mentioned, the story is about the first serial killer that appeared in South Korea. So none of these people have ever had to deal with a situation like this. So the whole team of like the forensics team is kind of sloppy. Both of the detectives are kind of sloppy. They're very over the top sometimes, but I think it kind of made it feel a little bit more realistic. It might turn a lot of people off in some aspects, but I think it could be cultural differences as well. I'm not too familiar with South Korea's culture as far as like the police force and things like that. So I really couldn't tell you. I mean, these people don't even dress like cops, really. They just wear street clothes. And when they have to present themselves as cops, they just pull out their badges. But back to what I was getting at, when the movie needs to be serious, it somehow is easily able to smooth that transition. And it never feels overly jarring when it happens. It's clear that this movie was a blueprint to what eventually became Parasite. Parasite shifts tones a lot too between being like really comedic and then being really serious. So I really respect that director Bong just isn't afraid to you know, take those kinds of creative risks. The direction in this movie is really good. I was able to find a lot of really small details with how the scenes were blocked that really enriched the storytelling experience on screen. But I think the strongest aspect to this movie is the actors. The three people who played the detectives in this film have some of the strongest acting performances that I've ever seen on film. It's absolutely amazing to me that for part of this movie, you almost even can't even take some of these people seriously as cops. And by the end of it, you can't help but feel the same emotions that these people are feeling. I can't really explain what that means because it gets too heavily into spoiler territory, but just trust me when I say, if you end up watching this movie, you're definitely going to be feeling a lot of things by the end of it. I really just can't say enough good things about this movie. If there's one negative that I have to say about it is that it feels a little bit long in the first 45 minutes or so, but the last act of this movie is so damn good that it doesn't even matter. So I'm gonna give Memories of Murder a 10 out of 10. For the longest time, I had difficulties watching 
foreign films just because I found it hard to jump back and forth between reading subtitles and paying attention to everything on screen. If you want to get more into foreign movies like this, I would say a good place to start would be to just turn on the closed captioning for movies or TV shows that you just watch. I started doing this about a year or so ago with just everything that I was watching and I feel like it's helped me dramatically when it comes to watching foreign films because when you do things like that it definitely opens up your world to more films like this and this is definitely a great one to start with and that brings us to the conclusion of my review for memories of murder i'd like to thank you all for watching you can see more of my reviews on the film book website that's film-book.com just search for alex shrednoslack you can see other reviews and videos i've done on my youtube channel link in the description if you enjoyed this review be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so that way you're notified as soon as new reviews are published. If you agreed or disagree with my review, definitely leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Please also consider becoming a member on our Patreon, link also in the description. Your support helps us create more engaging content. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.